I have another one of these. But I don't know where it is. So this is, wait, let me do full webcam only. So this is um, the fucking Apple black sticker. This came with the M1 MacBook Pro that I got. But I have another one of these. It's a white background. It's not translucent like this with another sticker on there. And it's only, there's only one left. And it has, and that was from the old Mac Pro, the trash can Mac Pro, late 2013 one. Um, I'm probably going to use this. So I'll just leave it right there for now. Um... This right here was when I was working at the office doing tech support. I was crimping cables for them. And this was the first ethernet cable I ever crimped. You can see some tape right here, it was cut. Uh, and all the cables are in there. This is Cat5. That's so weird. Everybody's Cat6 now, right? Um, but yeah, you could see I did a pretty that's a pretty bad job. I used like a like a plier thing to like cut around it and you can't see it with this webcam because it fucking sucks, but like it's a really poor job of 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 cutting. But I did my best, I got the cables in there, I pushed it down, did the crimping, and realized it was in the wrong order. And it didn't work. So I cut it and did it again with that cable, but that's kind of a blessing in disguise because I got to keep this. Of course, I'm not going to keep it after this. I'm just going to throw it away, but or I'll burn it. I wonder what will happen. So this, yeah. Also, look at this. iPod. We had iPods back way back in the day. First ever iPods. This is not the first iPod, obviously. This is, this is, this still feels new. This still feels like a new iPod. Look at this, 160 gigabytes. And it's the old charger, but I'm positive it still works. Headphone jack, that's all you needed. And then touch screen and the buttons. Yeah, these were brilliant, dude. These were fucking brilliant. Um, iPod. This was the first ever iPhone. And this phone was amazing. Volume up, volume down. Uh, mute and unmute, or like vibrate. SIM card tray, headphone jack, on and off button. And the home button. Wow, this iconic home button with the square in the middle, how much they marketed that and everything. All the apps were like, oh man, this shit was so fucking cool. And the app, this is like the app, the, the curvature around the app is like the same fucking, it's so cool, man. It's iconic. It felt like the fucking future. It felt like the future. One button on a device. This was the iPhone 3G. This one was what? Eight gigabytes. This is the iPhone 3G. This was Furhaz's 16 gigabytes. Relatively similar more curved see this one was like curved like this and then it flattens out however this one kind of continues to protrude out a bit more if you have it then you know what i'm talking about um smaller headphone jack area right here oh wow wait the camera's slanted it's not on this but it is on this i didn't even notice that and and brilliant design New speakers on the bottom, screws down here, just like how they are on the later phones, like in the 5S. I unscrewed the 5S and took it all apart way before any of this. On a different 5S, we had multiple. We all, This is always like an iPhone family. We've had iPhones from way back in the day, as you can see with the fucking 2G. I don't know why, it was just called iPhone. I don't know why we called it 2G. I think it was because um, later, that like the next year, the iPhone 3G came out and we just assumed, oh, 2G. So... But that was literally because of 3G, like the technology that was first introduced on that phone. Or not first introduced on that phone, but that was the first phone that Apple made that had that technology on it. And then um, the 4, 
so they didn't continue it. But it still felt weird. That they, I remember when they said, oh, it's iPhone 4. Like, it's not 4G? Why? That was so weird. We were so used to the naming convention, convention after two phones, and one of them didn't even have it. But, yeah. This was still from working in that... No, this is not from working in the office. This is from school. A Fraz student AutoCAD 2015. Serial key 9005001979 product key 001GL or I or 1, not sure. And then I have in asterisks, all zeros are zeros. Yeah, I'm throwing that away. Um, and then I have these three drives right here. So this first one was the first ever flash drive and you, I ever had, and my dad gave it to me. And all it does is it, take an SD, it takes an SD card. It was like, I'm sure it had like a larger piece to it where you, where it wasn't, you know, exposed. Um, but yeah, I think that just fell off or something. And there's a green light on here. You can see that little green light sticking out. And when you plug it into something, the green light turns on as you would expect. And it flashes as something is being transferred or put on up read and write from the SD card. And it was so convenient because I was able to have like a bunch of SD cards to just swap out, but it wasn't that convenient actually. But it was super fun. And if I'd go to school and I'd plug in, people would be like, oh, what's that? And I'd be like, oh, this is my flash drive. It's pretty cool, right? It's all like that. And it's probably not like, because this is kind of sharp. It probably wasn't the best idea to do that, but it's pretty fucking cool. I don't know. I think I might keep that. I think I might use that because I don't have one. I do have one, but it's for a large adapter like dongle. But this is probably like USB 2 or 1. So it's going to be slow as fuck. But these are two actual legit flash drives. Both ID Tech branded. So there's this one right here. From ID Tech. Which I mentioned ID Tech stories. And it's super smooth and green. And this one was 8 gigabyte. I wonder what's on here. I'm going to plug it in and check. I'm going to do that right now. Anything? Let's see. Um... Nothing. And it's four gigabytes, not eight. Fuck safely ejecting that. I'm on Windows 10. Fuck them. Um, I'll use this. Four gigs? That's good enough for portfolio. Um, okay. And then there's this one, which is a... 16 or 32 gig, I'm not sure. ID Tech Unreal Engine. This is when we did Unreal Engine. This is the one that me, Nair, and Nick went to. And it comes out like that. And I'm about to check this one too. Probably going to be nothing on it because I'm good with maintaining my life. And I probably removed everything from all these drives and took out what I needed. Sixteen gigabytes. What is this? This might have been a plugin or something. Hold up. WNA three three 
or not three, three, one, zero, zero. What is this? Oh, is this like the fucking adapter uh, or like the driver for? Ubuntu? No fucking way I put Linux on here. No. It's not Linux. I don't know what this is. But. Yeah, no, I'm not going to bother to. This is nothing. Yeah. Delete it. And. Another portfolio. To give to people, you know, like. If I have. A, a portfolio of music or photos or videos to show people. Heck here, take it. Check it out. When people have are in the music industry and they have a lot of unreleased shit, they they will oftentimes just give each other flash drives to like record label execs and things like that. Um rather than sending them a link because it's unreleased. And they want to show them unreleased stuff. So they'll literally put the song files on a flash drive. And this was look at this access zero slash n or o slash n on um emory university a Fraz a java programming 2015 group three id tech you can see on here it says id tech and on here that's me that's my name from id tech there's some other, I've got, I found another GameStop Power Up Rewards card, and I found a Dave & Buster's rechargeable, which is not at all like the rechargeable that I had, and yeah. I gave my 11,000 uh, uh, tickets and $500 worth of chips card to my little uh, cousin's or they're actually my nieces, but whatever. Um, the names are Ruth and Myra. I gave it to them. I don't know how much of it they spent. I hope they spent a lot of it. Because things are just going to get more and more expensive as time goes on. I want them to just splurge on it. I want them next time to go to Dave & Buster's to spend all the rest of it. Um, but yeah. I wonder if there's anything on here. Oh, well. I don't ever go to Dave & Buster's anymore, so... If somebody finds it in the landfill, if you find this in the landfill, go for it. Use the use the card. See if there's anything on there. I doubt it. 